Hello my beautiful friends. It is Tuesday and I have a scrapbook process video for you. <laughs> I'm already starting off tongue-tied, right? This is about the third video I have narrated in the last few moments, so bear with me if I start to get a little dry throat or, um, you know, mix up my words as I do. When I get tired so it's kind of getting later here today I've been this has been the craziest weekend I have gotten so much done it's incredible and the entire garage was pretty much wiped out and cleaned by Bab today which is amazing we have both our cars in the garage and yesterday I spent probably five hour five to six hours cleaning my house and then we had a house full of guests just for the lovely weather it was very pretty it was about 75 degrees and we had what we call a chill and grill where we invite people over we grill a bunch of food we tell them to bring their own drinks if they want wine or beer and we feed the masses and hang out by the pool so it's kind of our thing and we love to do that when it is nice outside so um yeah that's what we did and i'm i'm kind of beat i've been <laughs> trying to take it easy today because i've got to train some people you know first thing in the morning so busy busy life um this picture this is really a funny picture if you really look at this picture this is bab in a tree and we were in san francisco well not san fran we were in california along the coastline actually and we saw this little park and hiking trail and we stopped and there was this tree and anytime we see a tree so I don't know how long you followed me but Alan is considered a metal head so he likes metal music which is very heavy and guttural and so one of the things metal music singers do they make this weird noise and Bab does it all the time and it's called Brie and they go Brie and it's supposed to be really cool and fun but you know, you know it's it's a metalhead thing I don't know so he had the long hair in high school and all that and wore the the black clothes and I guess it was his rebellion phase or something I don't know but now he's like Mr. Career Oriented is super brainiac and keeps his hair all short and tight for work. And, um, but I just, whenever we see a tree like this, because metal heads always do music videos out in the woods. So if we see a really cool tree, we call it a Brie tree. <laughs> and so he crawled up. I couldn't believe he crawled up this tree and sat in this tree and did this weird thing with his hands that metal heads do it's almost like a um it's almost like they cup their hands it's a very odd thing and then they look up into the sky like they're you know worshiping something i don't know it sounds terrible <laughs> and he's he's very much a christian he is a very a faithful man okay so um it's just he loves the music and actually a lot of metal heads are very Christian and a lot of metal bands are very Christian so interestingly enough I did not know that until Alan and so um, you learn something new all the time I tell you what so I could not resist I was like I have to take your picture in the Brie tree and he was so excited he's the greatest you know guy because he'll just go along with anything I do and put him through and so um, yeah, this is a picture of him in the Brie tree. And I took some of my items from my empty box. I took some items from my stash. Quite a bit of it is from my stash. That's why it's not an empty box video. Because I think I only used like one thing from my empty box. And the rest is from my stash. Um, and I'm not even sure. Did I even end up using that one thing? I don't think I did actually so I didn't even use anything from the empty box well no I take it back I've got a little label up here that says one of a kind 
um, in black with gold lettering and one at the bottom that says unplugged in black with gold lettering and I think that's the only thing I used from the empty box everything else is from my stash I've been wanting to dig into some of my chipboard and some of my stickers and so that's what came up the layout it came it came from my stash so just a regular process video and I used this crate paper good vibes collection for some of the chipboard I used that camera and that leaf and I'm gonna end up gluing it down because I think it tries to move around on me and the word daydream is a sticker from dear Lizzie I believe um, accent and phrase stickers I add a little bit of thread just to give it a little bit of a messy texture and that chipboard is pretty textural oh I did end up using that um, at well collection so I didn't think I ended up using that but I do I end up adding some leaves and some feathers from that at well collection and it's from fancy pants and that's an epoxy sticker and I can't remember where I got this long border sticker from, but it's just a very soft wave. It almost looks like a, a little wave of water, but it's, I, I'm not, he's not in water. So I don't know why I used that. I guess I just thought it looked good. <laughs> Sometimes my brain just goes with the flow. When I'm in the middle of scrapbooking, I really try not to think too hard. It's like, I just want to enjoy. I want to not have to think about anything or you know other than maybe a little bit about the process of how I'm gonna design but I just try to keep it simple and enjoyable I'm trying to remember what this background paper is I believe I know the one on top is Bohemian Dream by Coco Vanilla the one on the back side I want to say is an old fancy pants I don't know I probably showed it to you in the beginning and was talking so much about the picture that I didn't pay attention so here I'm going through some of the Shamil cork that was in my stash I've had this forever I've never even opened it so I decided I was gonna use some and I love that big camera there and it says Imperial hi-fi camera and also that circle that says a fab so I think that adds a nice wood element to the page even though it's cork so I'm technically I guess it is wood to a degree but it just gives it that that wood feeling I'm also adding some labels from this really old urban traveler sticker set and I believe that's from simple stories and it says things like hit the road are we there yet take a picture and happy travels and this one says happy chaos which I thought was fitting <laughs> and I don't know why I have that little cluster that says dream over there to the far right at the top but I like it I I don't know why I didn't really embellish it I add that little butterfly and then I'm gonna add some splatters around it and it's just kind of over there by itself so it kind of stands out to me but I like it I like the way that turned out this little piece of gold uh, sticker is from crepe paper oasis and that's the heart and then I'm gonna add <clears throat> these little black labels I discussed in the beginning from my empty box and also I'm gonna pull some more cork stickers from studio calico and they are arrows I'm going to add to the page as well what else did I do ah so I do end up adding this word vacation and that's from crepe paper oasis I really liked the oasis collection it worked very well for me I, I should probably get my hands on some more since I like to travel the end of this month we're going to San Francisco and back out to visit his Aunt Sue and Uncle Chris so I'm excited about that yay I haven't been out there since I guess it was last summer and I'm excited to see them they're very very fun cool people so 
I'm just going to finish up here. I don't think I add anything else. Oh, I do add a title. I'm sorry. What am I thinking? The title is the funniest part besides him being in the tree. <laughs> so I go to my um, thickers and I find these gold glitter thickers of all things. Gold glitter for the Brie tree. <laughs> and they are called Fitzgerald. And I'm sure they go with some collection, but I don't know why American Crafts does not tell you which ones they go with. That's always confused me. Uh, it's hard enough for me to remember names, but trying to tie a thicker to a collection that's named something totally different is not within my capabilities. So <laughs> I've got too much going on in my life to, to keep up with all of that. So there you go. There's my title, Bree Tree. And I know I have this subby. She's so fun. Her name is Christy. And she was so excited to see this layout. And I think it's because her boyfriend it may be a metalhead. I've seen her scrapbook pictures of her boyfriend and share them on the Facebook group for Cheeky Studio. And um, she immediately loved it. She was like, I love this. <laughs> and Alan loved it. He was so excited too. So, um, you know, you got to have fun with it. And I'm just going to add a little bit of splatters in this Heidi Swap color shine in gold because I don't want it to go bad and everybody is cringing over not having it anymore so I thought well I might as well use it and I haven't really used it in a while so I've been using it on layouts lately and that wraps it up that is the layout so I did want to tell you I've got a YouTube hop on the 23rd and uh, if you go over to the Cheeky channel, YouTube channel, I've got a video up there and it tells you what the sale is going to be for my spring cleaning for Cheeky Studio. So you don't want to miss that. And I think that's it for now. Talk to you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye!